hi all welcome to my youtube channel so today we are going to see how to launch a ec2 instance in a aws so this is a aws console if you will see if you click on the services you can see like there are so many services available but today we are going to see how to launch a ec2 instance so here you have to search the ec2 and you can see the ec2 comes up okay okay so you can see that this is the ec2 dashboard and if you see here the launch instance is there you can see the summary like instance running zero dedicated host elastic ip and this all the things are already available but today we are going to create a new windows machine so how actually we will do so first you have to create click on the launch instance okay okay now you can see here like so many machines are already available like if you can see that like amazon linux ami and amazon linux ami hum with a different configuration and all but what we are interested is like we are going to create a windows machine so here if you will see like microsoft windows server 2019 base and it is a free tier eligible so we are going to create this so let's select this one okay once you will select you will get to see like the instance type so there are so many instance type is available this is nothing but uh, uh, the configuration like how many how much cpu you want what is what will be the memory instance storage ebs only low to moderate there are so many uh, instance type is available but uh, today we are going to create a t2 micro and here you, you can see like uh, one view cpu is available one one memory is also available and ebs only is available so we are going to create because this one is the free tier eligible one so we are going to create that let's click on the next here it is asking like how many instances you want to create so here we have to give the as i am going to create only one instance so i, I will give here one and uh, the other option like it is asking about the network subnet public ip placement group i am role and all it is asking as of now i am leaving this i'm going with the default here the next section is the add storage like so by default in a, in a windows it is giving a 30 gb uh, in a if you create a linux you will get to see only the 8 gb and uh, you can see all the snaps of here volume type you can select based on the your requirement i am going with the default and delete on termination means uh, the volume if you will terminate your ec2 instance the whatever volume will be added that also will be deleted that means the delete on termination lesson so i am going with the default volume let's click on the next add here uh, you can give any name like i am giving I am giving name as a windows machine this is the important one here we have to create the security group what you do be what will be your security group name that you have to give by default it is uh, giving this name but i am just selecting as a windows security and if you see here the the type like uh, whatever the protocol if you wanted to define you can give here as of now i am giving a by default and next is the review and launch you can review about whatever you have selected and you can launch it okay this is an important one you have to create a new key pair so that uh, whenever you will create your windows machine so that will be helpful so i am giving a and you have to download it so i have downloaded it and i will create on the launch stages So as you can see our instance is now launched let's click on the view instances and here you can give our instance name and giving windows okay it is still in the pending state it is creating and other than that you can see like the instance type status check alarm status all the information is given by default we are created in a us is one you can change it based on the your requirement 
so yeah you can see the st status is still pending let's refresh it it will take one one minute to launch let it be launch okay so you we have downloaded one uh, key pair right this one so this one will help us to connect to a windows machine so let me share somewhere i am saving in this folder as a windows machine dot pem okay let's see the status now you can see the status is now running okay now if you will click on this instance here you can see all the details about this windows machine like instance id is given ipv4 address public ip address private ip address status dns and all the information you will get from here similarly about you want to know about the security things and all also you will get to know networking you can go to the storage in storage you can see like the root volume is nothing but the ebs cbs what is ebs we will come to later and you can see the volume size is 30 gb as of now okay and this is nothing but a status check it is in initialize mode so let it complete and then we will see like how actually we can connect it this is a monitoring tag and after that tag is given so all the information is already given here so i, I have can i am selecting this windows ec2 instance and if you will click here there is an option like stop instance reboot instance and terminate instance if you will terminate instance then you are going to completely delete your deleting your instance so you do not have to use uh, after once you terminate you cannot use it again but once you will stop this instance again you can restart it and or you can reboot that instance also so these are the facilities available if you will go into the action tag here if you will see you can connect view details you can see all the other settings also available like you want to auto scale the termination for products and these all the options are given to us feel free to explore this and if you want to create of this uh, windows machine as a template that also you can create as an image so in later if you want to create a same uh, windows machine with same configuration with the help of this image actually you can do it okay and monitor and troubleshoot these all other options are available so now let's see how actually we can connect it just click on the connect go to the rdp client okay once uh, once you will come here okay let me show you again we have to select our instance we have to click on the connect we have to go to the rdp client okay this is a uh, this is our username for password the file we have downloaded right that actually we have to point out so i have downloaded this file today windows machine.pm i will click we have to decrypt the password okay and this is the my password and you have to click on the download remote desktop file for connecting this windows machine i will click here i want to connect to this uh, windows machine which we have launched i have to give this password and i have to click on the ok and yes now we, my windows machine is going to be launched let's see just wait for one two minute it is it is launching now you can see like so this is a uh, So usually it actually happens in a industry whenever uh, you are doing any kind of the testing work or whenever you want extra machine for the particular 
uh, scenario you want to test it so people usually create this type of machine and they assign to us so here you can see like our <coughs> windows machine is now ready and uh, so yeah so this is how actually we can connect so as of now i am just closing it okay okay then we will see you in next lecture where we will see like how actually we can create a linux machine